have something to bring before you. And God has been dealing with us differently this year, Chris and I, and Pastor Cook this year. So I'm sorry, Pastor uh, Hicks and Pastor Cook and I this year. He's been dealing with us in so many different ways, and it placed a big burden on our heart to really take ministry and really take God to a new level and to start expecting more in God. I mean, how many of you are just tired of going to church and when you leave, you're still the same? Yeah. You go to church and there's a hundred dollar line and the more money you get, the best prophecy you get. Uh, or you go to church and you go there hurt and you leave there just thinking about dying. How many of you are tired of things being the same? Well, I'm here to tell you that today God is asking us to change our way of thinking. See, when the Bible speaks of so is a man, so when God's when when the word says so is a man thinking in his what? Now, what is actually the heart? The heart is the mind, and when the mind gets all filtered and kicky and you. It's hard to see God. It's hard to experience God. It's hard to go before him and get into his presence. It's hard to see God as who he is. Yeah. Now let me slow down because I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple of pieces from my notes and we're gonna go from there. Now, today I would, I, today I would like to talk to you about birthing your destiny through your faith in the word of God. Now, birthing your destiny through the word of God. That whole sentence alone is prophetic. See, because Jesus is the word. So I'm birthing my faith through what? I'm birthing my faith through the word, which is Jesus. So what is faith? Faith is that, that muscle that we use to bring the spiritual into the natural. I think I just said something. It's bringing the spiritual into the natural. Spiritual. So I'm bringing my thought, bringing the. Spiritual into the natural and cause the manifest. Okay, let me draw this map and then I'm gonna go into my notes. We have the mind, which is the wound. Our mouth, which birth things. Why is the mouth? Because the mouth speak words. Words are seeds. Words are sperm. And when it attaches to the mind or the womb, it what? Birth. Yes. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, come on. Speak, speak. Words cause you to, your thoughts first, you can see that thought. Conceive means to get pregnated with. You get impregnated with. So, 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 sidebar. We have to be careful who we find ourselves going to when we find ourselves going from church to church because we find ourselves getting pregnant by so many different people that, that we don't know who our baby yeah. daddy yeah. is. Come on. Okay. Right. Anyway, conception starts right here. call on my life. I, 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 what is my purpose? Uh, 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 why is this happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. There's so many questions that's pumping through my head because I have so many seeds going through my head. So many seeds trying to hit my womb. So, so I can't put anything to action because I got too much on my mind, meaning that there is too much going on, but I need to. Oh. My thoughts, my thoughts, my thoughts. Okay, yeah, you, you're not with me, so let me get back there. Okay, today I would like to talk to you about birthing your destiny through your faith in the Word. Okay? Now, check this out. There are some there are so many people that live their life just existing and expecting. You don't have anybody in your life that feel that you owe them. It's a privilege to know them. And you got to when, when they ask for some money, you gotta give them some money. They go fit. You asking me for money. You asking me for a favor. You asking me to drive you, but 
See, but these people are living life without purpose, and we connect ourselves to these people because we feel sorry. My Lord. And it's not our job to feel sorry. Come on, come on. See. Okay, okay. So, so, so we're talking about conception, conceiving, pregnant, giving birth. Now, now let's go over to let's let's open our books and go to Genesis. Genesis 1:26. We get there. Okay, here you go. It says, and the okay. Let me get that here. That's I. Okay. Genesis. Okay, now I have it in a couple of different translations. Uh, I'm going to go with. Let me go with. With everyone else. Okay, Genesis 1 21 and 26 states, it says, And God said, Let us make man in what? Our what? After what? Let us make man what? And? Okay, check this out. And let them have dominion over the sea, over the air, over, the, over, over all the earth, and over. Now, I know it says over the, I know it says over the, the fish of the sea and the fowls of the air, but he said over the sea, over the air, over what? All the what? Okay. Now, in the Amplified Version, it says God spoke, let us make human beings in our image, make them reflecting our nature so they can be responsible for the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the cattle, and and yes, the earth itself. Every animal that moves on the earth. 27. God created human beings. He created them God-like. Hmm, let me try that again. God created human beings. He created them what? God-like. Yes, sir. Reflecting God, nature. God's nature. He... He, them, male, and what? Female. God bless them, prosper, reproduce, fill the earth, take charge, be responsible for the fish, and so on and so forth. Now, now that was the message word. Now, this is the Amplified. The Amplified version says, let us make, let us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, make man in our own image. Now, I could go on and on and keep the same chapter, but let's, 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 let's just break this one down so that we can go into where we're going. Now, it says, now, if I'm created in God's image, if I'm created in God's image, I must ask myself one question. If I'm created in God's image, what does that mean to be in the image of God? You see, in, that, in the beginning, the Father began to speak. He said, let us. And the earth began to conceive. And then as the earth began to conceive, it began to give birth. And as the earth began to give birth, we began to see people, places, and things take place. We began, and when he began to speak it, You'll get that later, but when you do, please draw a pull over because it's going outside. Now, he created man in, a, in his own image. So my question is, if I'm in the image of God, the first question I've got to ask, who is God? You see, now, if I'm created in God's image, I must ask myself, who is God? You see, I'm coming from religion. I'm coming from religion to relationship. See, with religion, he's the man upstairs. With religion, he's the genie in the bottle. With religion, he's an on-time God. He might not come when you want him, but he'll come on time. But how does that combine with omnipresent? If I'm everywhere, how am I late? You'll get that later. God is limited because 
Religion says that 